Hi everyone, this is Lindsay and we're going to take an audio visual tour of Excel and the different shapes that your pointer can take when looking at an Excel spreadsheet. So let's start at the very beginning. I'm going to um, hover over cell A2. You see where cell A2 is here? Now look at the shape that my, that my pointer has taken. See it's a big fat plus right now. Big fat plus equals select. So if I left click on cell A2 and let go of my left mouse button, I have selected one cell. If I hover over cell A2, making sure that I've got that big fat plus, left click on my mouse, hold the mouse button down, I can select an entire range of cells. Okay? Big fat plus equals select. That's what we did here. Now I'm going to go over to cell B2. Now this is a skill that you completed in the very first um, section of the chapter 2 assignment, skill 1. Asked you to hover over and select cell B2, which I've done. Big fat plus equals select. Now if you look at the cell that I selected, look in the lower right hand corner do you see that little handle, that little box there? That's called a fill handle. What we need to do is we need to ask Excel to fill the content from one cell to the next. And we're going to act activate this little subscript. All does, all does it um, automatically. That is going to increase um, the series. It's going to change it for us first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, so on. So first, I select the cell. I have my selection indicator, big fat plus, but I want to fill the series. So I'm going to hover over that little handle in the lower right-hand corner. Did you see how the plus changed? Let me go back again. I'm on a selection tool now. See the big fat plus? Now I'm hovering over that little fill handle. It's a narrow plus now. If I left click, hold my mouse button down on top of that series and you can even see down at the bottom of this window where it says drag outside selection to extend series or fill drag inside to clear I'm going to drag outside I'm going to drag from cell B2 all the way through and including E2 now watch what happens here we go left click hold my left mouse button down drag to the right I've filled in C2 D2, E2. I'm going to let go and look, it put it in there for me. That was filling a series. I'm going to undo it. So big fat plus equals selection. Narrow plus over the fill handle in the lower right hand corner equals fill or copy. We're going to fill a series. Left hand, uh, left click. Hold down that left mouse button, drag to the right, it'll fill it for us. Let go. Selecting a cell is different from filling a series. Selecting a cell, big fat plus. Filling a series, you're going to use a narrow plus. The last um, shape that your um, Excel pointer can take is one that has four arrows on it. You've seen this four arrow tool before in Microsoft Word. When we were moving pictures around, images around, same exact function. So I'm going to hover over cell A11. I'm hovering in the middle of the cell. It says, do you want to select? That's what that big fat plus is asking me. If you want to select, click now. Do I want to fill the series? I'm hovered over that handle in the lower right hand corner. If you want to fill the series, left click, hold that left mouse button and drag to the side. Nope, I just want to move the contents of A11 from one place to the next. By the way, this is not part of your assignment. This is just demonstration purposes only. I'm going to hover over the border of the cell I selected. Left click, hold my left mouse button down, drag to a new cell, and there it goes. Okay, three different shapes, forms, and uses of our pointer within Excel. 
The first is select, big fat plus. The second is fill or copy, narrow plus hovering over the handle in the lower right hand corner of the selected cell. Or let's just move the content from one place to another. And that is the four sided arrow. Please always to be sure to contact me if you have any questions or need any help with anything. Hope this helps.